the sixth video in this series. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to look at how we organized our jQuery mobile app and how we integrated Backbone.js into it. This code that I'm going to describe is live, so you can check it out at bit.ly slash movies app. I'm going to look at the code in detail now. We have the main starting point in our HTML. So we have index HTML page, which looks like this. It's also available at this URL. It calls the application JS code, which is the starting boot code. That calls the backbone router. In this case, it's the movie list router. And the movie list router calls the movie list view. So that's the overview. Now let's get into the details. But before that, uh, for Backbone to work with jQuery Mobile, you have to disable two things. You have to disable link binding, which is which is by default on in jQuery Mobile, which jQuery Mobile uses to bind to anchor tags. And uh, it does the blurring. It does the active tags. So you need to disable it. And you also need to disable hash listening jQuery mobile routes using window location hash but uh, we're going to use backbone to do both of this so we want to disable the two jQuery mobile functionality here you can do this in the mobile end event so the first starting point is index HTML we're going to call our application and we're going to tell it that call this endpoint and populate the data into this div with IDs hashtag movies with ID movies the application code takes in the container where the HTML should go and it also takes in the endpoint where it should get the data from makes an Ajax request and calls the router simple the router based on what the URL is, like if you go to this URL without anything at the end, it calls the default route. This is a backbone router. But if you call it with a hash detail and some text, then it will call the detailed route, which is specified by this method. So we are going to use the backbone router and we're going to name this one as the movie list router. So based on the URL it's given, it's going to call the right methods which are defined in, in this JS file, which is included in the HTML page. So all of these JS files, application JS, movie list, router JS, and views, all of your routers and views and application code are included in your HTML page. The router calls, let's say we, we went to the listing page, the first page, it will call the index method whose responsibility is to call the view, give it the dynamic data and get the HTML from it. Every time the index method of the router is called, it starts off with a fresh empty element and then appends the generated HTML from the view to the parent page. So router's main role is to talk to the view, get the HTML, start off from a clean slate and put the HTML. Now we are going to the view. View's main role is to look at the template, populate the template with the data and render it. So here we are calling the view in in our router. We are calling view dot render. In this case, it's the movie list view. And we are calling the render method, which goes back here. The render method takes in the template movie list view template, gives it all the data, and generates the HTML out of it. So we are we are giving it this list view template by specifying the name of the template movie list view here in our view which is specified by this ID movie list view template 
So this is a mustache template, which is basically a list of all the movie listings. So this is specified in our index.html page. So that's it. The router calls the view, which is going to look at your template, populate the data, and then return it back to give you the view. Similarly, let's say you wanted to create a new view, which is, you know, the detailed movie view. Now the router is going to look at the hashtag rest URL, and it's going to find out that there's a separate method that it needs to call. So instead of the index method, it's going to call the detail view. So the detail view does something different. So it has, it has a different um, template instead of the movie list template it's going to look at movie details template. It's also going to render the movie details template by looking at the template from the page, populating it, and then returning it back to the page. So based on the route, the router will call the right method, and it will call the right view, and it will populate the data, which will generate the HTML. So in summary, we have our HTML page, which calls the starting application JS code or, you know, a boot JavaScript file, which calls the router with the dynamic data. The router, based on what you specified in your URL, the hash view, it'll call the right view. Based on the view, the HTML is generated and sent back to the client. You can also find this code at uh, GitHub, at jQuery Mobile School. The name of the file is phi-trailerbackbone.html. Or you can also check it out live at bit.ly slash movies app. That wraps up this video. In the next video, we're going to look at how we generated the dynamic movies from the internet. How can we get a JSON file that all of this, this app understands? Thanks. Happy learning.